Now, remember when the pandemic started and we were all at home baking? Well, our guest today embodies that movement towards sourdough and all things made in the oven. Tracy Steele left her full-time job in 2017 to train in pastry and baking in Paris and San Francisco. And then she and her husband opened the Bench Bakehouse on Commercial Drive a year before the pandemic started. Tracy, welcome. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> This is really mon monumental because you are <laughs> our first yes. in-studio guest since the pandemic started. So I'm yeah. glad we can do this safely. It's great to be here. I know you're here on your own. We didn't even have a team to, to help you set all of this up. So thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. <laughs> I wish you could smell this because it absolutely smells gorgeous <laughs> right now. I'm getting pastry, butter, vanilla, all of those beautiful yeah. scents. But... Let's t talk about your journey. How did you yeah. how did you get to into baking in the first place? You know, to the extent that you say, yeah. I'm quitting my job, <laughs> I'm doing this full time. I always loved baking and it was always something that I did at home ever since I was uh, a kid. And, you know, doing a bakery or something food related was, was always something that was in my mind. And eventually I just said, you know what, it's now or never. And I left and uh, my husband and I decided, why don't we kind of make a little bit of an adventure out of it and go to Paris, live for a bit, take a pastry course and, and kind of see, you know, is it something that I really like? Is, am I good at it? Uh, and see what happens. And, and well, this is what happened. <laughs> yes, it's something I really yeah. like. And yes, I'm good at it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> that was good. Okay, so then comes the bench, the yeah. bench bakehouse. So what, what's your concept? What, what, what kind of plan did you go in with? Uh, well, the bakery is open concept. So we do everything from scratch, all of the, you know, pastries, creams, fillings, everything's done from scratch. And so we wanted to, you know, let everybody see into the kitchen. And so it's an open concept. Uh, customers can uh, see the bakers making everything from scratch. And it's also nice for the bakers because they, you know, most people get into baking because they like to feed people and they like to make people happy through food. And so they get to, you know, see the customers coming in and, and happy and, and get that feedback. So it's really great for customers and for the bakers. Oh, I'm glad. Everyone's having a good time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, but then the pandemic hit, right? Yeah. Then... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then everybody was home and, and they were hungry and they wanted bread and they wanted things that were comforting. So we just kept making as much bread and as many pastries as we could make and uh, and then expanded into some bake at home products and yeah we just we just kept doing as much as we could let's talk bake at yeah. home let's go over here because these are all frozen from yes. so what, what have we got here uh, so we have our croissant pain au chocolat and then the cinnamon buns Cinnamon buns, and those are those are hard. Yeah, right now. And, <laughs> and then uh, hot cross buns. So we do the traditional with uh, candied fruit that we do in house, and uh, raisins and apricots, and then a chocolate oh, hot cross chocolate. buns. Okay, moving yeah. on next. So this is how they would come out of the freezer. You pick them yep. up at your place, or get them delivered. Uh, yep, yeah, pick them up, and the night before, when you before you go to bed, just put them out on a pan like this. Leave them on the counter, and, and then the next morning, this is what you'd wake up yes. to. And then turn the oven, the oven on, and there we go. Oh. <laughs> so it's you, that could, easy. <laughs> you could fool if you had some house guests. You could fool them and just say, "Oh, I just whipped yeah. up these croissants <laughs> last night," and yes. uh, wake up to. Yeah, welcome, they would wake welcome. up to the smell, and <sighs> yeah. And again, getting back to the smell. It's Easter time. Um, let, let's go to the next yeah. stage of the hot, hot cross bun. So, how would you how would you approach yeah. so preparing these? The bake at home come with a little piping bag. Well, you do it all. So, you do it all. You just make it so easy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's the, the glaze and the the cream to do the crosses. Okay. And so normally, you know, we would just... I like looking at the, all the different stages in the process as well. Yeah. Oh, isn't that cheating when you're doing them all at once? Uh, no, uh, no, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, if you're at home, you could, you know, do different things. You could make a little... Happy face a if you wanted happy to. happy face hot cross bun. So this is something you could do with the kids at yeah. home as well. You're at home, so you could do it however you want. <laughs> this is beautiful. You could put initials or... You yeah. know what I love, though, is how you can fool your friends and fool your friends into thinking you're the great baker. Yeah. Do people, do that? Do people ever have to actually say yeah. where they got the products? No. No. <laughs> no. Don't tell. Don't tell. No. <laughs> Easter's coming up, and you've got sort of a whole Easter spread here. Why don't you take us through what all of this is going? Oh, yeah. I dropped the bunny. <laughs> we have uh, decorated sugar cookies. Uh, we have one of our amazing bakers does all of them by hand. 
Uh, we also have cookie kits, so it's great for the kids or you know adults to decorate their own cookies at home. Um, and then a quiche, uh, our passion fruit uh, layer cake. Passion fruit. Look at yeah. that. Look how gorgeous that looks. Okay, keep yeah. going. Um, and then an assortment of our pastries, so you could pre-order everything online, pick it up. You could pick it up, you know, well in advance and uh, just pop it in the oven or take it out of the freezer the night before and pop it in the oven Easter Sunday and there we go, we've got brunch. It smells like Easter in here right yeah. now because I'm getting, the, I'm getting the cinnamon and the raisins even from the, from the hot cross yeah. buns you have bought in, brought in here yeah. today. Tracy, a very happy Easter to you. Yes. Thank you again for coming <laughs> in so and much. bringing so much beauty and, and warmth to the studio. So Great. nice to have you here. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>